I'm pretty excited about this video. I will save most of the technical details and I'll put it in the description because I know probably a lot of you would just want to get right in there and see how this is going to work. But uh, what I want to do is uh, decode the and view the analog video feeds from uh, a drone that I have here that operates in the 5 gigahertz uh, range. Uh, I've got uh, a 5 gigahertz uh, antenna hooked up to the Hack RF. And uh, but before I jump right into it, just kind of the history behind this, uh, I looked all over the internet to find a way to do this. There was a couple things that I found but seemed overly sophisticated and just really wasn't what I was looking for. So uh, it turns out that SigDigger uh, can actually, for the most part, accomplish what I want to do here. And the developer was nice enough to uh, point me in the right direction. And uh, But I will point out the what I'm going to use to do this wasn't completely designed for this. The symbol view area of SigDigger that I'm going to show you was meant more for uh, displaying symbols and symbol patterns. Um, but due to the behavior, it accidentally shows the contents of uh, analog TV and uh, things like weather faxes. Um, still exciting because uh, maybe in the future, uh, you know, we'll see the developer expand on uh, this capability, um, considering the fact that for the most part, it's already there. Uh, so again, the more technical stuff, I'll paste in the descriptions uh, um, and you all can uh, read from there. But what you see, on the screen right now is uh, it's actually paused right now but this is what you would see in uh, Sig Digger when looking at the the spectrum with your hack RF uh, if you had the same thing set up but uh, backing up even further let's see how we can get there uh, with Dragon OS which includes Sig Digger uh, by default so if you jump into the user source directory you're gonna see that uh, I left the app image there if you're more comfortable running this, uh, you know, installed and from source, I have a video on that. But optionally, the you know, the Sig Digger app image is here, and it's as simple as doing what I'm doing on the screen here, and you'll start things up. Now, if you didn't know what uh, range to even look at, look at, well, you'd probably know it was the five gigahertz range. But if you wanted to help yourself out here and narrow down quickly, this is where this panoramic display will come in. You'll see here I've unchecked marked the full device range, uh, put five gigahertz to six gigahertz here so that I can take a look and see where about this uh, drone feed is at. And you can see I got a couple things here in the five gigahertz, but uh, this uh, looks really strong right in here. And you can see that's about the 5.7 two four gigahertz range so I'm gonna go with that I stop the panoramic spectrum view and I go ahead and click the little uh, settings icon I come down I've got the sample rate I've turned it cranked it way up I can see my hack RF is selected I pretty much maxed out the bandwidth there 20 megahertz wide and I'll go ahead and I'm already generally in the range uh, or in the area of what I saw in the panoramic display. So you'll get this uh, warning about the sample rate too high. That's that's fine. I'll just uh, continue on um, and leave it as is and not disseminate it down. But uh, so now you can see I'm viewing the uh, transmission of the analog uh, camera that's uh, nearby me here. Uh, it may look like a little uh, slow motion here, but that's because I'm uh, streaming this over from the laptop. Um, rest assured, if you were seeing the live screen on the desktop, this is actually processing uh, really fast. Um, you can see, if you remember here, this uh, I'm left clicking on the mouse. I'm uh, moving the viewer the window here, and if you uh, put your pointer on the end, you can see you can narrow this in and widen it out. But we want to go ahead and get the whole range here. Let's see. I'll bring it out a little bit more. OK. So now that I've got this lined up, uh, I did. you'll probably have your numbers a little different than mine, the LNA and AMP VGA. 
you uh, can mess with that and uh, fine tune as needed. Uh, just leave it right about here. I'll try this. So it looks like I've got everything within the window here. Now keep in mind too, this is I'm doing this live. Um, I'll come back and maybe take a look at uh, doing an offline. Uh, maybe we can record this and do some further analysis on it. But this is going to be live. So if you got this going this far, you click on inspection. We'll come down here. We'll change this to FSK. Open up our inspector window. Jump over here. Take the bits per tone up as high as it can go, which is eight. Uh, the clock recovery, you can leave that as is, and you would just left click and, and uh, start this, and you'll see that the histogram and your images up top here, you can drag your mouse, and what you'll do is uh, within this window here, let's say the leftmost hump here to the rightmost hump, if you just left click, actually sorry, right click resets it, but if you left click and hold and then drag your mouse over, you can line this up and then release and then you'll see how it changes the view. Again, if you want to reset what you're doing here, which this will uh, affect uh, the coloring and some other things that you'll see in the, this window down here that we're about to use, you can right click and that'll reset that. So if we left click and uh, undo this fit to window and then hit record, you'll see what's going to happen here uh, is we can take this width down and as we take it down, you're going to see something recognizable here and you just have to mess with it. Now, if I didn't already point it out, I think I did. The uh, There's obviously uh, room for improvement uh, with some features being added in here, one being the ability for the video to sync. So you'll see we're, we're starting to see something here. And let's let's keep taking it down. Let's let's have this to back down to about the 300 to 400 range. Let's see what we get. All right. So what you should see is that the drone is pointing at my RTL SDR dongle. And just to show you here, you should see my hand come into view. There you go. And you can you can mess with this up top here to change the uh let's see. You can keep fine tuning this. Um, but I don't know. I'm pretty freaking excited. I thought that was uh, awesome. Um, I think there's a lot of value to see some uh, improvement here, especially uh, having those lines being uh, uh, synced and um, you know just the ability to see NTSC and, and decode that there is uh, is going to be, I think, awesome. I, I don't know of any other uh, program in Linux. I mean, if anyone knows, put it in the description, but I found this uh, really handy, and uh, you know I'm I'm excited to see some additional features added here. So, uh, yeah, I think that runs you through from the beginning to end. I'll put some links uh, where you can further read about uh, how this the NTSC uh, signal is uh, processed and what those uh, shades of gray and white and what those uh, lines and V-sync and etc etc is all about. Uh, I know I have personally a lot of reading to do uh, but uh, I I don't know I'm pretty uh, I'm pretty impressed I uh, I look forward to uh, seeing more done with this so all right thank you